guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my 14 week pregnancy update for you. This is my first pregnancy update sort of based on like the weekly updates that I'm going to do. Last week I did my first trimester sort of recap of all the things that happened during my first trimester. Very very positive sort of first trimester I had so if you haven't seen that video go and check it out and also go check out my pregnancy announcement sort of video which is more like a vlog video and that has lots and lots of images of like scans and the gender reveal and it's just a lovely lovely video so do go check those out if you haven't already if you're new to my channel then please do hit that like button and do subscribe I'd love to grow my channel I'd love to have you part of this lovely little community I have here and just to come on this wonderful journey with me. I'm really excited about this pregnancy. It will probably be my last, so I'm gonna try and just really absorb it in and just enjoy it as much as I can and just keep updating you with everything that's going on. So I have done a few little notes, but I, what I'm gonna do first is just tell you what my app says. Now I'm using two apps at the moment. I'm using the Pregnancy Plus app and also what to expect when expecting app, uh, which I watched quite a lot of videos in my first pregnancy where um, sort of the, on YouTube they have like lots and lots of like weekly updates and I, this pregnancy I noticed that they'd actually bought out an app so I'm also using that app as well um, and I think these two apps are fine, they're completely free and yeah, really really good. So. This week at week 14, whilst mostly sleeping, your little one is now able to rub its eyes, yawn, and maybe even blink. It is around 10.1 centimeters and 70 grams, so still very, very tiny, but I still think that's quite big for sort of 14 weeks, 10 centimeters. You've got around 40 centimeters to go <laughs> until you've got a full baby, but yes, it's, it's growing really, really fast. Okay, hair growth. Even though it's hardly visible, hair is starting to grow on your baby's head. Even the eyelashes and eyebrows are growing. Hearing, your little one is now able to hear sounds, which is really, really exciting. And yeah, just lots and lots of growing going on. And it's just like a wonderful, wonderful time. And I just love looking at the, like, the little picture of the baby every week and just seeing how much it grows. If you think about... I haven't even like shown like seven, uh, what did I find out? I found out when I was <laughs> three weeks pregnant and it was, that was like, <laughs> that was what I got and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then like, seriously, the, the amount it grows in that first trimester is just incredible and I just think it is amazing and I just find it such a magical thing. So right, getting on to my updates before I get carried away. So this week, I must say, hasn't been the easiest week for me. Um, it has probably been one of the hardest weeks actually in the pregnancy, uh, which is strange because I'm now going into the second trimester. This is the second trimester now. The first trimester is over, which is great. It's supposed to be like the worst trimester, but this particular week has been really, really hard. And I do actually think that's because my my son Otto, he had to be off school because he had a cough. Just to, it was actually a minor cough, even though he did feel a bit sorry for himself for a few days. Um, it was just a little cough, but because of the particular world crisis that we're going through at the moment, he can't go to school with a cough. So he had to be off all week, so I had no time at all to do anything that like I normally would do, like cleaning and tidying and doing the food shopping and... I had to like drag him with me and he's two, he really doesn't like to sit still for very long. So I think the whole situation was just quite exhausting. Also he's two, so the terrible twos have started and also I think he just felt a little like unwell and that just sort of brought those tantrums up to like another level. So me personally was absolutely exhausted. So exhausted that one night I put Otto to bed at seven and I got into bed because I just said to, I said to my, I can't even I said to my husband I can't even stand up anymore I'm that tired and then I woke up at around eight so I slept for like an hour and I said right I haven't actually had any dinner so I went and we cooked some like tortellini and I couldn't even eat it I was just like I can't even eat it I'm just I'm too tired um, and I went back to bed and then I got up the next day so I was in bed for like a good 12 12 13 hours like 12 hours I think I was in bed for and I felt much better the next day but oh that particular day was really really hard and I was I can't even explain the exhaustion I was feeling 
but I couldn't even stand up anymore. I put my son to bed, I felt terrible, and I just, I had to go to sleep. I'm not normally one to be super hormonal. Hormones don't really bother me, like even when I'm like, you know, on like my period or anything like that, I don't really get that hormonal change. But this particular week, I think maybe because of maybe the exhaustion, so snappy like I had zero patience for anything and any little thing I was just like snap 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 and I was like oh, why are you being so snappy that like, you're normally quite patient and calm and definitely with poor little Otto because he was having all these like tantrums and I was just like not dealing with it in the way that I would normally deal with which is just patience and just letting him get on with it and just sort of being there for him I was just like you've got to stop <laughs> and I think that was just my hormones has taken over a little bit this particular week but they've calmed down a lot now feeling a lot more relaxed but yes that was something very very new for me um, and something that I didn't enjoy this particular week I have uh, had slight bloating so before like in my first trimester I had quite severe bloating whereby like the end of the evening I looked like 20 weeks pregnant um, like seriously and my tummy would feel really really tight this week has gone down slightly still a little bit of bloating uh, but I haven't been so uncomfortable which is like great um, which is really really nice to not feel because like when as I said in my previous video you have to eat quite a bit when you're pregnant and even when you're feeling bloated you don't really feel like eating but you kind of have to eat and it does make you feel a little bit more uncomfortable so that subsided a lot this week which is great and I also had a few days where I kind of lost my appetite and I didn't feel like eating at all. I wasn't really hungry, didn't really want to eat my dinner. Um, I think that was because I was really, really tired again. Um, and I think that just affected my appetite in that particular couple of days. But yeah, I definitely had a bit of a loss of appetite this week. I've also, I'm not sure if it's too early or not, but I think it's too early. I have been feeling like little quivers in my tummy and I'm like, is that the baby? Like, can I feel? the baby already like I don't know um but yeah I've definitely been feeling like slight quivers uh the midwife well, who did my 12 week scan said oh have you felt the baby move at all yet and I was like no um I think it's too early am I not right and she was like no no it's really really early just some people feel it very very early on and I was like all right no I don't think so and she was like because in that particular scan uh the baby was moving all the time he was like having a little dance around the baby's obviously moving a lot um so maybe i am maybe it's just digestion who knows uh but something is going on and i keep feeling these little flutters in the lower abdomen let me know below if you had this definitely sort of in your second pregnancy i definitely didn't have it in my first because i think things start a little bit slower in your first pregnancy and yeah just very different very different feeling overall as i said it was like quite a tricky a week and yeah I just I feeling a lot better today the weather's been really nice and I just feel yeah a lot lot calmer today and a lot more sort of still a bit tired but not as tired so maybe hopefully <laughs> in the next week or so my energy levels come back up and I feel a little bit more positive and a little bit more bubbly and yeah I've been like right like, yeah really good I'm so excited about this pregnancy so and just watching my little bump grow which is already a lot bigger than when I first had my son uh, I've definitely already got a little bump and uh, my clothes are getting quite tight um, so I don't think I'll be wearing these this has like no stretch in it at all so I don't think I'll be wearing it for very long uh, but yes so I'm going to show you my bump now the first bump picture so this is me with my clothes on you see there's already quite a little bump there for 14 weeks a little a little baby bump on there. I'm going to have to do this to show you the actual tummy. So here's my belly. As you can see, it's already quite round at the front and also quite bulging at the bottom. So it's all sort of down here at the moment, um, but it's definitely there. And that is currently my little bump. Which I can only imagine it's just going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> so there you have it, that was the first bump of the updates. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. 
and I'll definitely see you in my next video. See you later.